Hey guys, what's up? We are live at the Action to Wins Emily Latran event at the Costa Mesa Crown Plaza Hotel. And I'm with my good friend Forbes Riley. Our good friends. We've done this Now, this is like our fifth time, I think. And he's a man that I totally look up to. I have to. He's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> good save, good save. So, so many people look up to you as far as your success and being the billionaire uh, QVC queen and, and creating Spin Gym and training so many people. What do you think makes you different from all the other trainers, all the other coaches? What's different about them? Well, you know, so one of the things is I'm not really a trainer and a coach. I happen to be an actress who found her way into this world. And so I am here, my acting career, you know, fun, every once in a while when a door closes, you go, wow, what happened here? I was on a track to be a major actress and something happened and I didn't end up becoming Julie Roberts or Sandra Bullock. And I think it was a universal way of saying, hello, you're not here for you, you're here to serve other people. And that was a huge slap in the face initially and I had to sit around going, wait a second, why is it what I wanted got taken away from me? Well, that's not what happened. See, sometimes the universe has a very sneaky way of guiding you where you need to go even though you may not know what it is. I agree with that, oh yeah. Yeah, and so sometimes when you've had a major accident or something horrible is happening, why, why me, why me? Well, let me tell you something. It happens that you would wake up and understand what you're supposed to really be here for. And so coaching and training and doing what I do has come from somewhere else. And like we did in this room today, I'll tell you, I have a gift and I didn't, by the way, I didn't really know I had a gift. And now my goal is to share it with everybody. That is to look in people's souls and change who you are. I don't know why, but I see people for who they can be, not who they are. You don't want to work with me because I'll tell you what, when you work for me, I'm really tough because I inspire people. They end up leaving and becoming what they always dreamed of. That's my big issue. <laughs> but if you're one of my students, one of my clients, you're lucky enough to be in the room. In fact, we do a thing called Forbes Factor Live. I wasn't doing these. I was playing a little bit small. Who out there plays small? Yeah, I would get on stage and I would speak. But all of a sudden I realized that when I get off the stage and speak into your heart and change you and people start crying in my arms every day. Now it happens whether I'm in the grocery store, I'm in the sauna, all the, I have to like turn it off sometimes because it gets amazing. You do the spin gym for so long. I'd be well, crying too. Well, oh, he's talking about my fitness product, which is just a way for you guys to make money and get fit. But that isn't the heart and soul of what I yeah. do. When I hear the testimonials of people saying, wow, what did you do to these people? Somebody called me an angel today. Okay? I don't think people dish out compliments like that very often and I gotta be square with you guys. I didn't do this for a long time because it freaked me out. I didn't know that it was okay to do what I was doing. And now that I started doing it, it's snowballed into something. And I will tell you what, if you're stuck in your life, if you're wondering if there's more for you, or you want, I mean, a lot of people in that room, they, three people in the room lost, their, lost kids. I have a unique way of getting you to live your life to the fullest, to understand something that I don't know how to explain it. In fact, I try not to explain Forbes Factor. My advice is if you're lucky enough to be in the room, you're lucky enough. So if you want to go to ForbesFactorLive.com, and you haven't been in the room yet either. I haven't done one of these for a while. But I will tell you, when you witness what happens to people and how they shift, see, most people coach and train at somebody. I kind of get inside and coach from the inside well, out. It's the Icon event. You made some people really feel it. I got a small taste. Right, but now can you imagine that you're doing an immersion three days with me, 12 hours a day, I'm the only speaker? Yeah, there is nobody else on stage. I don't want to share any of this. I don't need anyone else to do the work I do. I'm not here to promote other speakers. I'm here to promote you. And so people in the room become who fill up a fair amount of the time with their transformation, their story, their growth. And it's the most amazing thing to watch. I mean, you, it almost like, like sparks fly out of people's heads. You're like, mm -hmm. oh my God, you finally got it. Somebody stood for you. And the new thing that I'm talking about, and I have a new book coming out called Permission. Mm. What did you ever need permission to do? You know, I, I, I like to just do things my own way and not need permission to do things. Well, here's the irony. Oh, not the irony, but here's an important thing to hear. I've known Eric for a while. Eric does a lot of things that he wants to do, but I see him with his dad. Mm -hmm. So, metaphorically, your father gives you permission to be amazing. I've heard him talk about that. Mm -hmm. And so you can, you know what, I have permission. If your dad was somebody who said, oh, son, you can't do this. What, are you kidding yourself? You're not this, you're not that. Yeah. Then you wouldn't do that. I'm blessed to have the support, for sure. Well, you're blessed to have something to allow you to create that word in your head. Look, guys, we switched roles. She's oh. interviewing me now. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I think he's extraordinary. Oh, and that's what you. I do. I don't need... The interview's not about me. Yeah. Um, I've had a lot of success. I've been on infomercials and television shows. And if you're a director, producer, you need a lead actress, and Jane Fonda's not available, call me. I still love doing that. But this work that I do, looking into you and making you better, is the greatest gift that you could ever imagine. Well, thank you for the, the, the Forbes gifts. And so let's get into the speaking topic of things, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love her. All right, so 
I started doing a lot of live streamings. You know, I'm doing a ton of live streams. I'm, to me, that's speaking digitally to every everybody else. And what I feel is I started picking up, you know, st stop listening to everybody and listening and listening and just do you, just be yourself, just find who you really are. And I, when I started doing that, I mean, Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future popped into my, my stuff. I mean, oh, big people are starting to look at my stuff and, and I'm just, talking about the crap I'm going through and, and just real, I'm just really being real, you know? And any advice on the speaking side? Yes, the, the greatest compliment anyone can ever give you as a speaker is, wow, you're really authentic. Mm. So my daughter who's- I've gotten that. I know, well that is, <laughs> trust me, that is the best compliment that you can get. My daughter's 14 years old. She's been on stage speaking with me forever and she's like, mom, we just did a 500 person event. She's like, it's not that big a deal getting on stage. And when things go wrong, you just tell people, they like to see that. Mm -hmm. Somehow she got this nugget. See, for most of my life, I thought I had to be perfect to be liked. And now I'll tell you what, that's the big shift. I still have to show up looking good, and I know people would prefer to see me with makeup than not with makeup. But if you fall off a stage, and I've done that, if you forget what you want to say, if you do something goofy, you stop for a second, you acknowledge it, you share it with the people, and they love you more. How hard is it to be authentic and really stand there, not have a prepared speech and say whatever the words you said 15 days ago? No. I Look never at the. Prepare. Okay, but I, that's not that easy I, to do. I structure. I have like bullet points of kind of what I want to talk, but I never prepare. It's always improv. That is the greatest advice I can give you. So if you're not someone who studied improv, find a class. I spent most of my life doing improv. I was in theater sports. That's what we did. And you learn to think on your feet. You learn to listen genuinely. See, I'm not, I have no idea what Eric's going to say or ask. I even grabbed the microphone from him. I have a little bit of an agenda to motivate. But beyond that, I don't know where we're going with this. But I know that I can feel you right now. Whoever you are right now, you're listening. You just said, wait a second. She's I, I came up with a digital handshake. We're meeting him right now. Oh, you? I love that. Here, here's a digital high five. Bam. Oh, Bam. She always has to top me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> I can't, you can't just go with the digital handshake. It has to be the digital high five. I like that. Oh, all right. How about uh, digital kiss? Come on, come on, kiss him, kiss him. Want the it? digital dance. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so let's get into uh, Emily Latran. I mean, today's Action to Wins. I, 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 she's one of our members. She's one of our clients, and I'm very proud of her and, and how she's motivating so many people. And now she's creating a platform for so many people. What do you have to say about Action to Wins? So I met Miss Emily, and she'll tell you the story of how we met. It was a little embarrassing. I didn't realize it. I heard it for the first time. I met her at an event, and she showed me her sales sheet. And I guess, and this is her quote. I can't imagine that I would ever say anything, but I think I must have said something like, what the hell is this? <laughs> it was terrible. She's a professional. She's really good. And her sales sheet was just horrible. We just need like a background uh, noise. Like when Forbes talks, that's Forbes. You know, like. <laughs> Here's the thing. Would you rather somebody blunt, lie to you, cajole no, you? Real. Yes. And, or go, hey, you know what? I've had coaches in my life who've literally, they call you on your stuff. An Olympic athlete has a great coach who says you don't get away with stuff. This is what most people don't understand. Mm. If you want to be mediocre, enjoy it. It's okay to be mediocre. You don't have to be excellent. You don't have to be an expert. But if you choose to be, there's a roadmap and a blueprint and a system and things you must do. You must get up in the morning. You must sleep well at night. You must have be organized. Organize, or, I don't know how to say that word. You have to have a clear vision of what you want. Mm -hmm. You know all those things. Mm -hmm. You have to learn to dream. These are things that you have to have in place for excellence. So come along, and by the way, you don't have to be perfect. This is the thing I learned. You know what? Don't let the perfect ruin the good. Mm. So don't write your book when you've got it all perfect. Just do it today. Literally take your first step, take action, and if you fall on your face, guess what? You'll get, if you'll get up, you scraped your knee, that's how you learn to walk. You learn to walk by falling down, not by being excellent at it. You learn to do a lot of things when you were little without asking, oh, how do I do this? I don't know how you speak a language. I don't know how you have your first kiss. I don't know how you get into college. You just did. So if you have that energy and that attitude, so Emily is a role model. Emily came from some pretty crazy background. All her story is amazing. It's an amazing story, but she's here and she shares it and she's a successful doctor and a mom. And I am all about women right now. Let me tell you something. I think for too long that we have not understood who we are, how powerful we are, but I don't need to be the man. I have kind of dominated this little interview because I love this man. He <laughs> lets me do that, but I really shouldn't. I should give you the microphone and I should let you treat me like the girl. <laughs> But, but, that, I, but there's power in that too. No, but you have a lot of power in your voice. You, everything that you're, you're, you're saying, I'm just letting you run with it. I mean, you're giving great advice to our, to our listeners and our viewers. They, they appreciate it. So let's go into the health and fitness and the most important piece because without health, you have nothing. Correct. And I'm going to be more open. I'm going to be more honest. Uh, I'm going to let everybody know that I dealt with a prostate problem for over 10 years. 
10, 10 years. And it was because of sitting for so long and the stress and the anxiety and and, and now I'm actually getting a little bit better because I'm using the Hilo and I'm using all these products and stuff and I have God and I have my dad to inspire me and stuff. And I, well, I don't have a spin gym yet. You haven't given me one. I'm still waiting for my spin gym. I don't but. have spin gyms. Let me share something about giving anything. But if I go to my three, my, my millions of people, that they could get one of your spin. No, I'll, I'll buy no, a spin no, gym. No, 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 that's an interesting thing. Now, I'm going to ask, here's an interesting question. And it's just, it's I w always had an issue with money. I didn't have any growing up. Spin gym is $30. Mm -hmm. When someone asks for it for free, I kind of look at them and I'll give it to them for free, but I will never I'm do it. I'm not asking for anything no, no, for free. No, 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 listen, this is just a lesson. I'm asking to be sponsored so I can help you sell your spin gyms. Okay, well, that's a conversation. I'm happy to do that. But I will share with you that um, an action for a service is great. And I love what you just did. You offered something in return. Mm -hmm. People ask me all the time, they'll come to my studio, and here's how I know who you are. One's like, hey, I love that. Can I get one? Or someone who says, hey, I love that. Can I, can I pay you for one? Let me share the difference. It's only $30. If I give it to you for free, you don't value it. So what's the difference between a Swatch watch and a Rolex? A Rolex. A Rolex. Well, Rolex is obviously more known and more expensive and so worth more. Rolex is fourteen thousand. This is fourteen dollars. They both only tell time. They're not even computers. Why would you spend fourteen thousand dollars on a watch? And by the way, if you had one, would you treat it better than the fourteen dollar one? Yeah. It's, Why? Because it's worth. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm I get it, okay. Yeah, it is about placing value. So this lesson, by the way, amazing nugget for your product or service. Every time you discount what you do, every time you give away your time for free, every time you don't think you're worth it, you're giving it away. And you're not valuing who you are. That's an emotional problem. I had that problem for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to step out of that and step into the idea that, look, I don't mind a negotiation. I don't mind a JV deal. Absolutely. If you want to promote this and promote Spin Gym, I love you for that. It is the greatest fitness product if you sit at a desk. If you have any kind of health issues and can't get out of bed, you need a Spin Gym. It is $30. And by the way, if you want to sell it, I teach class on how to do that too. I'm pretty good at sales. Uh, I, you, I teach sales. I, you know what? We got one of the best. We, okay. we have a sales off here. Stay yeah. tuned. <laughs> hey, no, I, I don't ever sell. I hate selling. I like to enroll. I, okay, okay. I, but I like to offer and let people know what they really need and teach them why they need it. That's exactly how you do it. Yep. That is how you make money with products. You let people know what's amazing and out there, and then you get it in response. So, for example, this gentleman who just came up to me about a new pain product. Mm -hmm. I'm always in pain. I always have back pain. In fact. I did a speech. That was one of our team members. I know that pain, pain our, our relief. So I actually left a hotel last week in Orlando with so much stress what went on that my I could, it took me three hours to get out of the bed. My back hurt so bad and they had to take me out in a wheelchair. So one of the things I will tell you about health and fitness is that if you don't have it, you've got nothing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I could not get out of bed and I'm healthy and fit, but stress will kill you. Yep. By the way, you know what stress is spelled backwards? Desserts. <laughs> I don't know why I know that, but I do. <laughs> I love it. So, um, I think we need to combine Hilo and we need to get Spin Gym and we need to get relief and we need to save people's lives. We need to help people. I mean, that, that's what I've really found out, Forbes, is when you help people from your heart, God just kind of returns it. It just starts coming on, really coming back. Kind of a funny thing. We discovered God. You know, He's been around for a long time. I'm not sure if it's a him or a her. I can't quite decide, but it doesn't much matter how, whatever you believe in, we are not the only thing here. That faith. And it is about having faith and faith in people and faith in the process and faith in just trusting that you are enough. My other platform, and by the way, I'm going to say come to ForbesFactorLive.com even if you just want to learn more, but I, I discovered something in my old age that you are never pretty enough or thin enough or rich enough or tall enough or involved enough or give enough. But if all that's true, could you just be in all your imperfections right now, right here, just enough? Hmm. You're not going to be enough five pounds from now or 10 pounds from now, which is what most women think, oh, when I just lose that weight, I'll be, no. No, you kind of have to go, this is just enough. It's not perfect, but it is really good. I'll tell you what, this body, whatever it looks like, is what carries my mind and my heart and my soul. And like our dear Steve Jennings, who was Everybody's in a car doing accident. A thumbs up. When you said this body, they're all doing the, the, the likes. There you go. We just lost a dear friend of ours. That was a shrewd compliment. Oh, Steve. Oh, I know. And I'm so, by the way, guys, I'm so sorry that we weren't able to be at the memorial today. But our our hopes and prayers and support, we'll be blogging everything. I mean, I've been supporting Steve. He's a, he was a member of ours. And I love Steve. And I love everybody that, that is the warriors out there. And he was, a, you know, he got hit by a car. And this beautiful body that this man possessed left. And his spirit is still with us, I know that, but his body left. And even Superman wasn't strong enough to stop a car, which breaks my heart. So what makes you think you're, you know, you're strong enough to, to do all the stupid things that you do to your body? Don't abuse it. It is the only one that you get.
I love it. Well, Forbes, I gotta get in there and do my thing. Now, are you gonna stay for, for me speaking? Oh, uh, he's putting me on the spot. Uh, <laughs> you know, Eric's, we've got a lot of great things going on. You guys wanna see more of this? So here's what we need to do. I need to have you on Easy Talk Live on Voice America. I wanna come on your show. Let's let's yeah. let's let's collaborate. Let's make it happen, and we will keep doing it the easy way, guys. And actually, for do you mind saying I'm Forbes Riley and I'm doing it the easy way real quick? I haven't gotten that. See, yet. I don't know if I can be easy. I mean, I used to be easy, but I'm not well, cheap. Frank or cheap. Let's can do it. The no, no, no. Of the entertainment but can do it. I know. Bernie Dorman can do it. Yeah, but but you, be, you but when. But when, but when a girl says that she's easy, you know what that means, right? Eric Zuli, that's what it stands oh, for. Oh, yeah, easy. is that what it stands for? I'm Kim having a hard time. I love this. He's half my age. He's like, oh, you're not that easy. Hey, for you guys on Facebook Live, let me just reach out real quick and invite you. I've got one event coming up called Forbes Factor Live. I've offered a crazy discount. I'm going to give that to Eric. Uh, it's kind of a secret. It's, a, there's a, a, there's a, it's expensive, but not for your people. So what if I gave you, I'm going to think about this, really do the math. What if I gave you a $300 scholarship to give to anybody that you want? Ooh. Would that be okay? A $300 scholarship? You know, that's another thing too, guys. That's actually very powerful when you have the ability to uh, incentivize and give people rewards and gifts. It's, 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 it's great. I mean, I can do that on my radio show. I can do giveaways. Yeah. I mean, that's this is, for my fans. Right. So awesome. if you are watching, I got to tell you, everybody in that room signed up. Everybody. It was an emotional, amazing experience for someone who's stuck. If you want to get to the next level and you think the voice that comes out of this body and this mind and this mouth could change your life. Yeah. So step away. So I am Forbes Riley, and I'm doing it the easy way.